Is Mega Lego? And if not, is it considered equal? Well, it depends on who you ask. Happy Saturday, everyone, and welcome back to Talkin' Brick, my series on the channel in which I answer your questions about things brick-related. Sometimes Star Wars, sometimes Halo, sometimes anything at all. So, without further ado, let's talk some brick. Our first question comes from Forest Turkey, who asks, where do you buy the Pelican? I'm assuming he's talking about the Halo Pelican, and you just buy it on Amazon. That's it. It's on Amazon. It's on sale, I think. Probably. Our second question comes from Jacob Ginger Hoffman, who asks, what figure would you like Halo Mega to finally produce? And that is a pretty, that's a tough one. I thought of a couple different figures, but I think the one that I really want, besides maybe a Brute Honor Guard, is the Counselor Elite from Halo 2. The Counselor Elite has this huge headdress up top, this helmet that just looks amazingly fantastic, and it's something that Halo Mega could totally do really, really well, and I just, I wish we would have gotten that figure because it's seriously awesome. Like the whole thing is beautiful. The entire chest plate is just the Halo 2 chest plate, I think. So it wouldn't be that hard for Mega to do and it wouldn't be too many new molds, but it would be something super, super sweet. Our next question comes from Michael Knowles who asks, which Star Wars game is your absolute favorite? My favorite Star Wars game of all time is one that they're actually re-releasing, I think this month, they might've already done it, but the Battlefront 2, original Battlefront 2, not the new one that had a bunch of loot boxes, a bunch of other crap that took forever to actually be good. The original Star Wars Battlefront 2 is still my favorite Star Wars game of all time. It's better than all the Lego games. It's better than the original Battlefront. It is a fantastic game. There's so many different levels. There's like, there's a whole campaign story with clone troopers in the 501st. There is an entire section of Galactic Conquest where you can literally just take over planets as the Empire, as the CIS, as anybody, whatever time frame you want in Star Wars. It is so, so very good. It's such an amazing game. The new Battlefront 2, I will say, I mean, it's gotten better since it was released, but it, it's still just nowhere near what OG Battlefront 2 is. And I'm so glad that they re-released it, but uh, I just haven't gotten around to play it. Our next question comes from Go Check Yourself, who asked a question last week, but this week he gave a fantastic question that I had to pull up in here too. He asked if Halo Mega did a helmet collection, what helmets would I want to see? The reality is Halo Mega kind of did. At least they did a one-off Master Chief helmet. It's pretty good. It's got a nice stand and it looks pretty com comparable in size to the Star Wars helmets. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the Star Wars ones and I don't really love this helmet either. I think it's sat on shelves quite a bit. It's not bad and it looks really good. It's a great display piece, but it's not something that I think Mega should continue to do. However, if they did do more helmets, I definitely want to see, obviously, like Noble Team, those kind of helmets. I want to see them do like a face for an elite, like the Arbiter. They would just have to not go the Lego route and say, we only have to make helmets that are actual helmets, even though they didn't actually do that, but helmets with the elite face and like head, that would be really cool. Our next question comes from Ski Meeswood, which I'm not sure is necessarily meant to be a talking break question, but I really wanted to address it. And they ask, is Mega Lego? And if not, is it considered equal? Well, it depends on who you ask. The reality is Mega and Lego are completely different in a lot of ways, but they are both based on the same type of design, it's building blocks made out of plastic. Yes, Lego came first, but I don't think at all that that makes Mega a copy of Lego like so many unfortunate fans seem to think. It's just not true. For me, a copy of Lego would be considered like Lepin, who takes Lego's designs, makes fake pieces out of them, and then sells it to you as a Lego alternative that is literally the exact same design. Mega purposely puts their logos on pieces because they want to be different than Lego. Mega is a competitor, not a copier. It's obvious to see that when you look at the figure differences between Lego and Mega, when you look at the differences between their building styles. These two helmets in front of me, while they're both helmets, are very different. I actually think the Mega one is better. It's smoother on the top the way that it should be. That being said, that doesn't mean that Lego is always better than Mega. That doesn't mean Mega is always better than Lego. They're just both different in their own ways. So rather than hating one and loving the other, just let them both exist. They're both good products and we want them to continue to be better. And our final question comes from CyberFox who asks, if you could pick any Lego Star Wars set, which would it be and why? The sets I go for these days are usually prequel sets or like clone stuff, obviously, but Back in the day, Lego just made these amazing, beautiful sets from the original trilogy that are just unmatched today. Like I think the original Death Star is amazing. I think the Death Star 2 is also amazing, but the Ewok Village is fantastic. It's got all the minifigures that I could ever possibly want from anything on Endor. It has amazing builds. I mean, those trees that it has are just 
crazy. And it's got that like rope bridge on it too, which looks so good. That's a great set. But that is all of our questions today. Don't forget to submit your questions down below in the comments. I would love to hear any of them and all of them. I will try my best to answer as many as I can, but I'd love to hear your questions regarding Lego Star Wars, Halo Mega, or anything in general, my life or what you want to know more about. Have a great Saturday. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like button down below. Helps the channel out a ton. I'll be ready for your questions next week and consider becoming a member of this channel too. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Peace.